What is up everybody and welcome back to another Among Us video and in this video I'm going to be telling you about a secret battle royale map that you should never play in Among Us. So in Among Us I'm sure that you are aware that this game is full of mystery. At times I sometimes believe that I'm playing a horror game because one day you can find a strange lobby and another day you can bump into a creepy player. But did you know that in Among Us there's actually this secret battle royale map that reveals a battle between the imposters and the crewmates. I actually got to see this map with my very own eyes and I'm here to tell you everything that I witnessed while being in this map. So make sure that you watch until the very end because you don't want to miss this. And before we get any further into this video I do want to mention that 70% of you have not hit that subscribe button which means that you're missing out on Among Us Darkest Secrets. So why not solve that issue by hitting the subscribe button with the bell icon turned on. And dropping a like on this video if you do enjoy. But now let's begin with today's story video. So something strange happened to me while I was playing Among Us. I got online to play a few matches because I couldn't contain my excitement on some of the new features that Among Us is going to be adding pretty soon. And when I joined this random lobby I was really confused on why I was using the color green and why I had a helmet on. I don't remember selecting this hat or even choosing this color but I tried not to overthink because the other player in my lobby was using my color and I guess the game just gave me this color for no reason but now I had to wait a few more minutes for people to join the lobby. We then got into the match and I was a crewmate and I immediately went over to do my task but while I was in records I started to get flashbacks on when Mility was attacked by the imposters. I wasn't sure why this was happening but I tried not to distract myself. I had some work to do. As I continued to do my task for the next few minutes, I continued to get these flashbacks. Now I see Xander leaving Mira HQ after Mility was attacked. As I made my way over to the viewing deck to do a task, the ship began to shake and I could hear the sounds of a ship. So I went outside to see what was going on and that is when a spaceship appeared and took me away. Where am I going? The ship traveled through the clouds and through space. I don't know where I'm going but this doesn't seem any good. After the spaceship took me away I appeared in a random location. Where am I? The entire floor was covered in grass and this is the first time that I've ever seen grass in Among Us. There is definitely something going on here and I need to get to the bottom of this. Especially after the flashbacks that I was getting of Mility and the whole situation when Xander left. I was also really confused on why I had a military helmet and my color was green. Something tells me that I'm about to find my answer here so I better start looking around. Right next to me there was this giant rock. So it looks like we're in some sort of base because right next to me there was also some loot crates that usually store weapons and ammo. I guess that also somewhat explains why there was a grenade, a medkit, and a pistol on top of the crate that was right under me. As I walked towards the top, I saw an AK on the left side and it was just on the floor so it looks like someone left it there. On the walls I could also see a large field with an ocean on the side and a bunch of abandoned buildings. So there was definitely a battle that happened some time ago. So now I'm starting to understand why I had the helmet back in the airship map but I haven't received my answer on why I was receiving the flashbacks. On the left side of the field I did find a med kit so there was two inside of this location and at the bottom I found two more rocks and I did also find another weapon which is a QBZ. So that's the third weapon I've seen so far and they were just abandoned. I then left the room and I entered what seems to be the medical room. There was four hospitals hospital beds. There was two weapons on one of them and there were some abandoned med kits that were left behind. So something tells me that this was some sort of military base that the crewmates used to use but they abandoned for some reason. Towards the bottom of this room there was also a med base scanner which most likely inspected the crewmates that were sent to this room after they were done with whatever operation they were given. It was most likely used after a battle against the imposters and the crewmates. They want to make sure that no one is infected. After I I left the medical room I entered upper engine and as I was making it there I did pass another med kit but then I found an abandoned vehicle that was most likely used to transport the crewmates. I'm just wondering why they left it behind. 
if they were gonna go into a battle. On the bottom right, there was also a Groza. So the crewmates continued to show that they were in some sort of rush, but for what? As I advanced further into the base, I entered the reactor room, and inside there was another grenade, but the rest was just empty field. I just can't help but wonder on what happened to the crewmates. I then entered security, but there was a random shotgun outside, and then there was an M16 in the corner, with a few tires, which were most likely used for the vehicle, and then the medkit. So then I approached the cameras, and I began to look around, and across the entire map I could see a bunch of weapons. So then I left the security room and I entered lower engine and I found another vehicle which is the second one so far and there was another weapon on the bottom left and there was also some ammo. So so far I haven't received my answer on the flashbacks but I am aware that I'm in some sort of abandoned military base but why is that? I then made my way over to electrical and inside I saw a random bush and there was someone hiding inside. I just couldn't tell who it was. In the back of the electrical room I did also find a few more weapons. It was a Tommy and what appears to be a shotgun. But then I saw a logo on the wall which I have never seen before. Who put it here and what does it mean? I wasn't gonna find my answer just standing here so I left the electrical room and I entered the storage. And on my way there I found a VSS, which was just in the middle of the hallway. That is strange, that makes no sense. But then I entered the storage room, and inside I could see 8 crates, which are most likely carrying supplies for the crewmates. But it just seemed like a lot, especially if the crewmates were going into a battle. They left so much behind. At the bottom of the storage unit there was another medkit and another M16. So the crewmates were clearly not organizing anything. There was also a random pen and medkit in the top corners of the room. I'm starting to believe that there was some sort of ambush that the imposters did on the crewmates. I then made my way over to admin and on the computer monitors I could see some images of some sort of game which appears to be Free Fire. This base must have been inspired by that game so it looks like the crewmates are fans of video games like me. I then entered the communication room which could be a location that I could get an answer. I could hear someone talking but I didn't know what they were saying. Maybe the noises are coming from the admin room? I guess we're gonna have to go look. But as I was making my way there I saw another logo inside of shields that was marked on the floor. I wonder what this represents. It has to be some sort of organization. Can't tell if they're on the sides of the crewmates or the imposters. But I need to go over to navigation to see what happened and probably recheck the admin room. I then heard the sounds of a ship that was nearby. I wonder who is inside. But I should probably check the last locations of this base. So I made my way over to O2 and once again I could see images of some sort of field and there was a few weapons and a pan on the floor. The sound of the ship that was approaching the base was getting closer so I entered weapons to get a closer look. I didn't see anything but then the ship began to shake. I think the ship just landed on the base but I didn't know what to do. I was taken to this location so there should be a reason why I'm here. This could end very bad or very good. I guess we're gonna have to find out. The ship then stopped shaking and I began to hear footsteps. Someone is here, but who is it? So I went over to the other side of the cafeteria and I stood still. Four soldiers then appeared on my screen and they had the same outfit that I had at the very beginning. And then Xander appeared. Looks like he brought his army and the battle against the imposters will begin soon. If you would like to know what happened next, let's see if we can get this video to 30,000 likes. I do also want to give a shout out to Beto for making this map. You guys can go check out his channel down below in the description of this video. And I do also want to give a massive shout out to my friend Lazy Doggo for helping me make this video. If you would like to help out a smaller creator, make sure to go check out his channel and subscribe to him. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more Among Us Story videos, make sure that you hit that subscribe button with the bell icon turned on. And check out these other Among Us Story videos that I found on my channel.